Hey, John Cristani here, and I'm gonna be going over another mindset for success video if you wanna make some serious money as an online entrepreneur in life. And I'm gonna be going over how proximity equals power. And I'm gonna be explaining to you the four concepts that you need to understand about this, this success philosophy that has helped me a monster deal in my life and my journey to becoming successful. Hey, John Cristani here. Now, understanding the rules of how to become successful is more important than even understanding the tactics themselves. And that's why I focus so much on mindset in my channel. I've taught tens of thousands of students at this point on YouTube, in my courses. But what I've seen is that consistently, most people, even when given a step-by-step -step blueprint to creating success, aren't able to get there. And that's why I focus so many videos on understanding the mindset to become successful because the process is more important than the tactics themselves. Now I'm gonna be explaining gravity, action, old people, and location and what I mean by this. So let's dive right in. And I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what I mean by gravity. So gravity is who you gravitate towards in any situation. And I invite you to take out a notepad and actually follow along with me if you really wanna play full out and just pause the video at certain points. So first off, in your, let's say family situations, right? When you're at a family reunion, who do you naturally gravitate towards? Is it people that are your age? Is it the people that are the most fun? Is it the people you feel the safest and most secure around? Or is it the most successful people in your family, right? Think about it and maybe write down on a piece of paper who you gravitate towards and if you were trying to become successful, who you would gravitate towards in that circumstance. But you could do this with anything. Where do you gravitate? Maybe at your work, do you hang out with the people that are in your department, in your working your same job? Or do you gravitate to the most successful people in your department? Or do you gravitate towards hanging out with your manager or the C-level executives, the owners of the company, or the most successful people in the company? Think about it, write it down. If you were trying to become successful, who would you gravitate towards? Now here's another exercise of gravity is when you have free time. Are you kind of watching, you know, the David Dobricks or the Trevor Wallace's, the funny guys on YouTube? Or are you gravitating towards the people who are the most successful, people who are teaching about how to become more successful in business, in life, etc. Where do you gravitate? Because wherever you gravitate towards, no matter what course you take, how much mindset stuff you do, if you continually gravitate back to the funny guys, the poor guys, the this, the that, you're not going to end up becoming successful as fast as you want. You will eventually self-sabotage. And to give you an idea of this, in all situations, I always gravitate towards the most successful people in a room. I gravitate towards folks who can actually provide value for my business. I'll talk about some of these other, how these factor into other areas here, but I always Think about how can I learn from this situation? Maybe if I'm in a family reunion, I will talk to the people who own property. I'll ask older folks about how to invest or I'll ask them, you know, how to deal with taxes, which brings me to that my second point, which is old people. This is the law of averages in action here. But on average, there is a direct correlation between money and age, okay? And if you are to draw a chart on average, the older people get, the more money they have. Therefore, a really easy rule of thumb is, do you gravitate towards hanging out or speaking with or conversing with or text messaging or watching videos from older people? Or do you gravitate towards watching videos or hanging out, or going to lunch with, or conversing with younger people. Very easy rule of thumb here. Older people 
have more experience, they have more wisdom, they have more money, on average, than people who are younger. Okay, so this brings me to point number three of creating proximity with success, which is going where the action is. Now, getting involved in the action is pretty easy nowadays with almost any industry you wanna be in. It doesn't matter what you wanna be successful in. There are conferences, there are events, there are meetups. These are the best things to go to if you want to get into any industry. Now, I understand because of the whole virus stuff, a lot of these things are not happening. But that being said, some of them are starting to happen again. Go where the action is. If you wanna learn affiliate marketing, go to Affiliate Summit. Go to Affiliate World Summit. Go to a local meetup of affiliate marketers. Whatever it is, go in person. Make it your mission. Save up to go to a conference in the industry you want to be in. If you want to be in a manufacturing industry, go to China, go to some conference in China about manufacturing. If you want to get into robotics, go to some conference or meet up in Boston about robotics. Go where the action is. But that doesn't just mean in person. Forums, Facebook groups, and specifically forums and Facebook groups are amazing resources. Find really niche forums or Facebook groups that you can join. For instance, we have our own forum just for members of my affiliate marketing training courses. You can be a part of that. I hire copywriters by going to copywriting groups that are only for people who have bought a particular copywriting course, right? Like, I don't want people who just spend their time learning online for free. I want people who are really invested in learning copywriting and becoming great copywriters to work for my company. Again, there's a million people who access free information to have an idea, you know, that they want to do one career one month, but they switch over the next month. I want people who are in it to win it. So go where the action is, wherever the action is in your industry. What I did was when I was uh, getting started, I talked about this a lot, every single night I went, after I got off my job at around 6 p.m., I went somewhere in Southern California to a meetup about affiliate marketing. Every single second I wasn't at a meetup about affiliate marketing. I'd drive three hours. I'd leave the second work got out so I can go down to San Diego and I'd be an hour late for some meetup on affiliate marketing, but I'd still know there would be people working in that business model there that I could converse with and try to find out information that I couldn't find out on the internet. And if you can't go to any sort of meetups or events or conferences, go to internet forums. There's a lot of ones about affiliate marketing, right? There's my forum for my members. We have a free Discord chat community that you can get. Link is in the description somewhere. There's the Millionaire Fastlane forum, which, you know, hates it when my students post links about me in there. There's Stack That Money forum, $99 a month, best investment you'll make. You know, join it for a month and just learn about affiliate marketing. There's a lot of different forms. There's the subreddit. Reddit's great for specific things. You know, go to the subreddit forum on affiliate marketing. You'll learn a lot. You'll get a lot of understanding of the industry and the chatter that's going on. If you're in affiliate marketing, join the subreddit, right? And join my Discord group. And then mindset shift number four. Four is gonna be the hardest one that I'm sure a lot of people here are gonna hate me, but it's location, okay? Location, there's no better way to give yourself the benefit of luck, of lady luck on your side, whooshing you along to become successful than locating yourself in one of the epicenters of whatever industry you're gonna be in. So me, I got lucky, right? I was born and raised in Los Angeles, which is one of the world epicenters, probably the number one world epicenter for marketing, anything marketing, you know, marketing, advertising, everything. I am in the center, but also consciously, I played to that strength, right? It isn't all luck, right? It's consciously, I played to that strength and I learned it and I can learn it. There's so many people out here. There's so many jobs where I can learn for free to do marketing. There's just a ton of resources. There's a bunch of events and meetups and everything 
around marketing. There's very successful marketers that I can surround myself with. Now, if I grew up in New York, I'd probably be in finance right now. I'd probably go into quantitative trading or day trading or being a stockbroker, whatever that is. I would have gone into something financially related because that's the benefits of New York. If you want to get into manufacturing, you should probably move to China. If you want to get into technology, you should probably move to Silicon Valley. You're not doing yourself any favors by staying close to, I don't know, your family in India and trying to get into, you know, marketing. You want to get into marketing. Here's the cities that I would recommend you move to. If you really want to give, put Lady Luck on your side, Los Angeles, San Diego, probably more big affiliate marketers there than I think anywhere else, uh, Toronto, Canada, Tel Aviv in Israel. Berlin in Germany, Austin, Texas, I would say would probably be up there too. So these are all epicenters for marketing. Epicenters, meaning there's a lot of activity, there's a lot of discussion, there's a lot of millionaires and billionaires in these cities that have made their money because they were good at marketing. And all of those things combined create an easy momentum for you to get into the industry. It creates lots of jobs. It creates lots of knowledge centered in these areas. Now, it's gonna be hard to move somewhere where, you know, just move your family, right? Again, it depends on what position you're in in life. It depends on how badly you want it. It can be a goal to actually go to one of these places. Now, in my case, I could have lived anywhere in the world. Okay, once I started making money, you know, when I was making money, years ago, and I just started doing affiliate marketing, it would have made a lot more sense for me to live in Thailand, which I did for a little while. I lived in Thailand. It would have made a lot more sense for me to live far outside the city, Colorado, be a ski bum or something like that. But at the end of the day, you know, I've always had my own personal goals in mind. I want to be a billionaire. I'm not going to be able to achieve that as easily if I'm living in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina right? Or West Virginia or, you know, in Thailand. I'm not going to have as much luck on my side. So anything I can do in life to stack luck on my side, I do. I want the benefit. There's no reason not to give yourself the benefit of luck. Now, it doesn't all come down to luck, but luck is a factor that you can't deny. And proximity, the reason it is power is because of serendipity, is because of luck. I wouldn't have met my mentor in the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood, California, if I had been in Thailand. I've met a lot of interesting people in Thailand, but the most successful people I found are generally centered in cities. Do I like living near a major city? You know, there's a lot of issues with cities. There's a lot of trash and homeless people and light pollution. I choose to live in a nice, rural, remote area of Los Angeles an area called Malibu, Malibu Lake to be exact. But again, the reason I choose to live here is because this is going to help put luck and proximity and serendipity on my side so I can ultimately at least attempt to reach the heights of success that I desire to reach. And for me, it's about being the ultimate version of myself that I can ever be. It's a concept I actually call I got this from a uh, RSD Tyler, but basically it's be the James Bond version of yourself. James Bond is living his best life. What does the best version of yourself look like? What does the James Bond version of yourself look like? For me, I know what the James Bond version of myself looks like. It's like maybe a mixture of, uh, you know, maybe a little bit Tony Robbins, a little bit Larry Ellison, a little bit Elon Musk right? What is the best version of yourself? Do you have it mapped out? What do you need to become that person? Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for supporting the channel. I love coming out with content about mindset because again, I can teach tactics all day long to you and you know, it's great. But the fact of the matter is most people who spend time on my channel or any business channel for that matter, or any even business course, don't reach success. And the reason they aren't successful is because their mindset 
is messed up somehow. They don't have the right process. There's emotions getting in the way and understanding how to deal with these things and put you know, what I call luck on your side is gonna be very important for you reaching success. So drop a like for the algorithm, obviously. Subscribe to my channel and uh, leave a comment. You know, what, what did you enjoy about this and what should I talk about next? Thank you for watching, bye.